What are your thoughts on composing for trailer music? Now, I made a video about a month ago talking a little bit more in detail about what I think about trailer music and whether or not you should decide uh, to go full force with it if it's something that would be right for you. And my opinion on this is trailer music is so highly specialized, meaning that the quality of music you're going to have to compose has got to be 10 out of 10. Um, you're, you're competing with some amazing world-renowned uh, composers and producers and orchestrators so you have just a much higher threshold of quality um, that's required to be a player in that side of the industry so I I recommend that if you want to do trailer music and it's kind of just where your heart is and where you really want to uh, shine you should probably just focus on trailer music because you really need to get really good at it and I don't believe that it's possible to just dabble in it and get really like, you know, on par with the professionals out there while you're also producing like hip hop beats or rock beats or something like that. Uh, trailer music is is I mean, if you want to get into the big leagues, right, major blockbuster films, that kind of thing, which you absolutely can do. It's going to take time and you have to persist, but you're going to have to completely zero focus in like laser focus in on trailer music. Um, so. That's why I say, uh, for myself, I like producing rock, I like producing EDM, I like producing a few different genres, so trailer music for me is just not where my heart's at, because I love it, I love the sound of it, I think it's great, um, and once in a while I'll dabble in some orchestral things that might go to one of my contacts, but I primarily stick with some of the major sort of pop genres the stuff that you would hear on the radio um, because that's just stuff that's accessible to me um, it's fairly easy for me to produce and it's enjoyable for me to produce um, and i just didn't have enough of a pull into that trailer world um, to want to get involved in that kind of thing so you got to decide for yourself um, which path you want to go into um, i just don't recommend that you slightly get involved with it like you just dabble a little bit in trailer music and think you're going to get some major placements that way it's very unlikely that's going to happen um you're going to have to just double down and go completely all in on trailers the other drawback to trailer music is there are much smaller numbers of placement opportunities in the world in the industry than there are obviously tv shows commercials movies promos radio stations netflix hulu you, you know you name it like how many different platforms are there to get music placements uh, in the tv world and i'm using tv loosely you know everything else other than trailers um and so your chances of getting placements are just exponentially higher when you're going into the tv film world and using major genres so though that's my two cents on it um you got to decide for yourself right at the end of the day it's your career and it's your time so you got to realize that wherever you zero in on right whatever side of the business you really want to create a niche for yourself in it's where you're going to spend most of your career living and working in that world right so just make sure if you are going to go into the trail trailer world you love it you're absolutely in love with it it drives you it motivates you it pushes you to work you know 16 20 hour days or whatever crazy amounts of time in the studio um if that's where your heart is at i say go for it i don't think any there's any reason why you couldn't do really well with trailer music but gotta go all in on it if you want to go that path